I will guide my soul curse Yesterday drunk, today being murdered Hello everyone and welcome once again to our latest development diary for Turbo Chicken Simulator. We're thrilled to have you here as we delve into the exciting updates and features we've been working on. The highlight of this update undoubtedly lies in the full controller support we've integrated. Not only can you now enjoy the game using a controller, but we've meticulously tailored the interface to display the appropriate interaction buttons and instructions across all aspects of gameplay, from mini-games to NPC interactions. At present, button remapping for the controller isn't available, but fret not. You can easily reference the layout for all actions in the settings menu. We're always eager to hear your feedback, so please don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments section regarding the possibility of introducing button remapping sooner rather than later. Furthermore, to enhance your gaming experience with a controller, we've introduced an Aim Assist feature. This addition aims to alleviate the challenges often associated with controller-based gameplay, ensuring a smoother and more enjoyable experience for all players. In a significant visual overhaul, we've completely revamped the aesthetics of Coxfield. Say goodbye to sequoia trees and outdated roads, as they've been replaced with majestic oak trees and updated pathways, breathing new life into this beloved location within the game world. Building upon these visual enhancements, we've also revamped the rendering of grass, opting for textured representations over simple polygons, this not only elevates the overall visual quality, but also sets the stage for the introduction of various grass and flower variants in future updates. On the technical front, a subtle yet impactful change has been made to the trajectory of the sun and moon in the sky. Rather than following a direct path above the player's head, they now traverse a more natural trajectory resulting in more dynamic and immersive lighting during both day and night cycles. And that's just scratching the surface of what's in store. Introducing the new Rate of Fire attack augment, which can be unlocked by preparing a special meal within the game. Additionally, we've crafted an engaging new quest that will guide you towards discovering the recipe for this culinary delight. On a smaller scale, Players can now scavenge gas canisters scattered throughout the map, offering a convenient resource during your adventurous exploits. These are just a few of the key highlights from our latest update. For a comprehensive list of changes, be sure to check out our detailed post on Steam. If you're enjoying the content, remember to show your support by liking this video subscribing to our channel if you haven't already, and of course, sharing your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And don't forget to experience Turbo Chicken Simulator for yourself on Steam if you haven't already done so. Thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, keep those feathers flying!